Hi Rachel, do you know anything about Mona Lisa? Oh, the painting by Leonardo da Vinci? It is one of the best paintings of all times and it is known because of its expressions. Do you know why? Why Rachel? No matter which direction you look at it from, you will always feel that Mona Lisa is smiling at you. Oh, it must be a masterpiece. It is indeed. Do you know about the other famous paintings of Leonardo? No. Tell me, Rachel. The most famous ones are The Last Supper and The Vitruvian Man. Tell us more about the painter Leonardo da Vinci. Well, he was famous as a painter and sculptor, but he was also a very talented engineer, scientist and an inventor. That means he was a multi-talented person. Tell us his complete story. I mean, tell us his biography. Da Vinci was born in the village of Anciano in Tuscany in Italy on April 15, 1452. His father, Sir Piero, was a lawyer and mother, Caterina, was a farmer. Young Da Vinci received little formal education beyond the basic reading writing and mathematics instruction but he had artistic talents since childhood whoa just like me yesterday i drew the picture of an airplane it did not come out well but i am trying to make a nice one keep trying pip i'm sure you'll make a nice airplane picture very soon around the age of 14 da vinci was trained by a well-known artist Andrea del Verrocchio in Florence. During the training, he learned metalworking, leather arts, carpentry, drawing, painting and sculpting. Wow, that was too much of learning. Tell us more about his best paintings. That's very interesting. So, do you remember the name of Leonardo da Vinci's most famous paintings? Hey, Joseph. Why don't you tell us? The Last Supper and the Vitruvian Man and the most famous one, Mona Lisa. That's right. In 1503, Da Vinci started working on Mona Lisa. But whose picture is it? Mona Lisa is the painting of Lisa del Giocondo, the wife of a wealthy silk merchant of Florence. Oh, I always thought it was an imaginative character. And what about the Last Supper? Around 1495, the Duke of Milan requested Da Vinci to paint the Last Supper. Da Vinci took about three years to complete the painting. It shows the moment when Jesus informs the twelve disciples gathered for Passover dinner that one of them would soon betray him. What a beautiful painting it is. Leonardo da Vinci was surely a genius of art. Well, Pip, he always thought that art and science are together. His painting, The Vitruvian Man, is an example of his artistic as well as scientific intelligence. Rachel, you said that he was an inventor too. So what did he invent? Da Vinci always thought ahead of his time. In a time when even bicycles were not invented, Da Vinci created the flying machine, which is inspired by a bat. His book, Codex on the Flight of Birds, is a study on the flight of birds which he began in 1505. Wow! A painter, sculptor and inventor. That's why he is called as one of the most intelligent men on earth. He was an engineer too. In 1502 and 1503, Da Vinci worked in Florence as a military engineer and worked on military construction projects and sketched city plans. Da Vinci went to Milan in 1506 to work for French rulers, but he left the city again due to political problems and moved to Rome in 1513. In the year 1515, the new French monarch 
Francis I called him back to France and gave him the title of premier painter and engineer and architect to the king. Da Vinci died of heart attack at the age of 67 in the city of Clou in France on 2nd May 1519. But his work is still remembered. There is a great lesson for all of us. Talent finds its way to success. So keep trying and master your skill. Success and people will always follow you. Well said, Pip. Looks like the stories of our great personalities have inspired you a lot. That's true, Rachel. Friends, if you want to listen to more interesting, inspirational stories of great personalities, then hop on to our website www.makemegenius.com and also find more interesting facts, quizzes and a picture gallery of the paintings of Leonardo da Vinci only at www.makemegenius.com. We will bring another interesting story to you soon. Until then, stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss our upcoming videos. See you soon.